What's up, Ravens fans? It's the time of the week where we get to hear from you guys, the fans. It's our Ravens mailbag segment. Lots of good questions this week now that the draft is behind us. Like, what are the Ravens going to do with all these running backs on the roster? Also, who's going to be the late round gem in this year's class? We'll talk about all that and more in today's mailbag. Our first question comes from Simon Bourgeois, and he asks, why add another running back? What does this mean with all these running backs? Well, there's one reason why you draft a running back in the fourth round. That's because you're not exactly happy with the stable that you already have. If the Ravens were perfectly content, then they wouldn't have drafted Kenneth Dixon. So I think that this is really going to be an interesting situation. I think if Justin Forsett is here, and my gut tells me that Justin Forsett will be kept on this roster. I mean, he's the veteran leader of a pretty young group if you look at everybody else. Uh, then I think Kenneth Dixon is really battling probably with Buck Allen to be the number two running back. To me, the guys that are on the outside looking in are Trent Richardson, Lorenzo Taliaferro, and Terrence West. Trent Richardson, to me, has a good shot uh, if he can stay in shape because he's a former first-round pick. I mean, he, he has three, a lot of talent. Number three he has a pick. lot of talent, and yeah. he brings he brings a hammer, yeah. which the Ravens don't have in some of those other guys. Lorenzo Taliaferro has struggled with injuries. It's been really tough, and Terrence West, he showed flashes last year, but... You know, and I think he'll be in the thick of this competition, as they all will, but I think he's on the outside probably looking in. It's going to be, I'll tell you what, running back is a competition that it's we're, crazy. every single day in training camp, we're going to be writing up about that. No doubt. All right, the next question also deals with the running backs, and it's about Kenneth Dixon, that fourth round pick. John Clint wants to know, do you guys think that Kenneth Dixon can make an impact in his rookie year? Yeah, I really do. You don't go and put up 87 touchdowns over the course of your college career and not have any ability. I mean, this is a guy that right. can catch the ball out of the backfield. He has good vision. He's elusive. And what he can do and the Ravens don't they would not have drafted somebody to your point if they didn't feel like he could come in and make an impact because they already have a bunch of guys you know they're not going to bring somebody in here that they think will just be a guy you know they're bringing exactly. somebody in here because they think it wasn't it, a need obviously it, it was, this was a steal yeah it was not a quantity issue they're going right. to bring in somebody who think they think is a quality player and it would not surprise me you know last year Buck Allen started games right. could Kenneth Dixon start in some part, in part because of injuries but sure yeah I mean injuries happen all the time at that position exactly you need to have a lot of running backs and I could see their there being some games this year that Kenneth Dixon ends up starting. That is certainly not outside the realm of possibility. Yeah, I would agree with you there. Next question comes from Kirk Hastings, and Kirk asks, with our history of drafting late-round gems, examples like Pernell McPhee, Brandon Williams, Rick Wagner, Arthur Jones, and Kyle Juszczyk, who do you think will be the late-round gem this year? Well, we just got done talking about Kenneth Dixon, who I like a lot. Yeah. So I'll stay away from that pick, okay. and I'll go with Matt Judon. Yeah. I think that that is a really interesting pick for the Ravens. I mean, here's a guy who led all of college football in sacks with 20 sacks this past year. I mean, that is crazy impressive, even if you're at an FCS level. I, I don't care what level that is. That is a lot of production, and I think that he's going to have an opportunity because the Ravens are looking for some of these situational pass rushers. I think that he will have an opportunity to come in right away in third down situations and kind of play a role similar to what McPhee played during his rookie season when he got six sacks, I believe it was. And Judon will have that, that chance to just, you know what, there's the quarterback. Go get that guy. Sniff him out. So, yeah, I like Judon. I'm also curious to see what Keenan Reynolds provides, you know, the six-round pick. That'll you know, be very interesting. You know what I just thought about? They added Keenan Reynolds, 88 touchdowns in his career, Kenneth Dixon, 87 touchdowns in his career, and Matt Judon, 20 sacks. Unbelievable. That was all on day three of the draft, That's by a the lot way. of production. That's a lot of college production. So, I think that there's a lot to be excited about, especially from those day three picks. All right, yeah. the next question today is on the defensive side of the ball. Ryan wants to know, what's the plan at inside linebacker? Well, right now, I think you're looking at Arthur Brown and Zach Orr or maybe Albert McClellan battling it out for the starting job next to C.J. Mosley. You know, John Harbaugh said it, Arthur Brown, he's a former high-round pick, second-round pick. They want to see what he could do. There's potential that he could be a Paul Kruger kind of player. Yeah, you know, sits we were there, talking about earlier today. Yeah, sits behind, uh, Paul Kruger sat behind Jared Johnson for a couple years, then he gets his opportunity to go there and play, ends up getting a big contract as a result of that. Maybe that's Arthur and, Brown. And has a lot of production, first and foremost. Well, for sure. You know, right. maybe that's Arthur Brown. This is his chance to play. Maybe he goes out there and proves himself. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he was kind of sat behind Zachary or last year, but given a chance to be a starter, I think Arthur Brown could step up. Our last question comes from Big Edwards at Doe Poppy, and he asks, could Mark Tressman use the Wildcat offense this year with Keenan Reynolds, who can throw and run? It's interesting, yeah. I think that Keenan Reynolds could perhaps, I mean, he brings that wrinkle, so I think they could use him in that role. It would not be a lot. I don't think that that would be something you'd be seeing every game or even every other, every other game, but it's interesting because it does present that possibility. I mean, Keenan Reynolds has been compared to Julian Edelman uh, by Mike Mayock. 
Edelman, I hate to bring this up, was yeah. the guy who took kind of that backwards pass, threw the ball over yeah. the Ravens secondary in the 14-point comeback. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty painful. I still remember that one. Uh, if Keenan Reynolds could do that back to the Patriots, <laughs> nice. I would love that. But, yeah, I think if he's out there, uh, he could be a, a jack-of-all-trades kind of player for this offense. All right, so that does it for us in this week's Ravens Mailbag fans. But send in your questions. Send to us on Twitter, Facebook, however you want to get them to us. We want to hear from you guys. So thanks for watching today, and have a great rest of your day.